Today, we're talking about how to properly remove a tick. Supplies that you need to properly remove a tick include, number one, you need a fine, sort of fine-edged tweezers. Yes, you need tweezers. These are ones you can find at the local drugstore. You probably have some lying around. These are my tweezers, fine tip tweezers you need. Uh, not only that, but you need rubbing alcohol. That is right. This is going to come in handy. Um, I also have alcohol prep pads as well, okay? This is something I keep in my house, so you can have these as well. And then if you need to dispose of a live tick, you will also potentially need a plastic bag. Let's jump right in. Okay, this is according to the CDC. Let's say that this little guy is our tick. You see this? This is a tick that I have found on my arm. Uh, remember, any tick that you find, you want to remove as soon as possible. You want to take your fine tip tweezers. You want to grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible. You see that? That's very important. I'm not grasping the tick at the top uh, of the tick and kind of yanking it out that way. I'm grasping it literally from the base uh, closest to my skin. That is very important. And when you go to remove the tick, you want to pull up with a steady sort of continuous pressure. You do not want to twist the tick or have any abrupt motions, jerking motions, okay? So when you remove that tick, you go to uh, closest to the skin and you gently with firm pressure pull up just like that. That is how you safely remove a tick. Now, let's say you've removed your tick, but there's a little piece of the tick still remaining in your skin, okay? There's a little part still left on your skin. What do you do, you say? Well, just leave it alone, according to the CDC, and let the skin heal. That is also important. Now, after you've removed the tick, this is where your rubbing alcohol, uh, your alcohol comes in. Either use the alcohol pads or the rubbing alcohol. You want to clean your skin and your hands. Um, clean the skin, obviously, where the tick was, and then also your hands. This is going to be very important. And then when it comes to disposing of the tick, this is Mr. Tick right here, um, there is a right and a wrong way to do this. First of all, we do not want to crush the tick, okay? You do not want to crush the tick. But let's say this tick is still alive. Well, what do you do with it? Well, the CDC says, first of all, you can put it in alcohol. That is right. You can uh, sort of discard of it by putting a live tick in alcohol. That is the first way that you can dispose of a tick. The second way is that you can put it into a sealed uh, plastic bag or sealed container. The third way is that you can wrap the tick, funny this, tightly in tape, which by the way, this is what I was using to demonstrate my tick. But the actual tick, you can wrap in tape. That is the third way the CDC says you can dispose of a live tick. And finally, you can dispose of a live tick by flushing it down the toilet. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Be safe this summer. Oh, I should also say, once you have removed a tick, any tick at all, I want you to call your doctor to find out if any additional steps, um, evaluation, treatment, etc., is needed. Of course, if you developed any symptoms, you need to call your doctor as well. But I always say after any tick removal, just call us so we can walk you through what we need to do or what we don't need to do. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please share this video with other people. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell, I invite you to do so. I do daily videos on COVID news. You can use all sorts of stuff. So please make sure you keep it locked here. I will be back with more videos.